I have already found the feeling I am. The sensation I had when I realized I am was a strong river, river flow of energy. Okay, he says the sensation I had when I received when I realized I am was a strong river flow of energy. I felt almost scared, but the strength of the sensation didn't allow me to be afraid. A bit out of breath, maybe. Mm. What I feel in my heart is that this realization allows me to experience life in brackets material and spiritual in a different way. Feels like freedom. However, I still hesitate. Mm. It's like when you are about to dive, you know how to dive, you know nothing can happen, you know it will be a wonderful experience, but still hesitation, you see. Can you make a comment about this? He's asking. This is she, Letitia, Letitia. Okay. This hesitation is nothing. It's the mind that is hesitating, not you. You already said, I know what is going to happen. I walk up to the, the diving board and I've done it before hundreds of times. I see the board. I know I've jumped before. I remember the feel of the water. And uh, still, at a certain point, hesitation. Hesitation. It is given too much attention. This hesitation, it doesn't mean anything. Hesitation means hesitation. Just a sensation happens, and you are witnessing this sensation also. So, nothing more than that. It's just a sense of hesitation. What you are cannot hesitate. What you are, like space, it cannot hesitate. It cannot make a decision. Okay, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for enlightenment. This is not the self is speaking. His mind is speaking, you see. And in this world, the mind seems to be king. Mind seems to be king. Whatever mind says, everybody obey. But in the true place, the sage does not obey even a king. They say even a king must prostrate to even an illiterate sage. I don't know if you've heard this statement. Everybody bows before the king. But when the king meets a sage, he himself will bow. Why is this? Even in biblical times, it's like this. So let mind hesitate, let mind desire. But you are the witness of this desiring, of this hesitation. But if you start to feel, oh, I don't want to feel the feeling of hesitation, then you are ready to sign a contract with your mind. And if you sign a contract with your mind, you have to become like mind. Then you are like mindedness. But if you remember that this is just another sensation, as any other thought, any other concept, it's equal. It's equal in weight. But if you touch it, that oh, I hesitate, and so help me to not hesitate, then you put weight onto this thought and it becomes something heavy. It's just a sensation, nothing more. So where do you go to this? diving point and you feel joy, exhilaration or hesitation, doesn't matter. It's just a sensation. You say it. It's like when you are about to dive, you know how to dive. You know nothing can happen. You know it will be a wonderful experience, but still hesitates. This hesitation is nothing. If you keep on seeing that all these things are nothing until you make them into something, if you see this, then you keep your power back. If you say that some power, apparently outside yourself, can determine how you feel, then you put the power out away from yourself. If you see sensation come, fear comes, anxiety comes, yes, it is a sensation, it comes, but don't identify. Even if this energy is in the body shaking, still let, let, let it shake. You don't have to identify. And it will make all the difference to you. Because if you identify with it, you're going to have to find hmm, the antidote to this fear. 
If you don't identify, it is just a movement and it will pass. Hold on only to yourself, who is the witness of this movement. Any number of movements might be waiting in queue to stand in front of your attention. They will come and go. You are not the one that come and go. That's all you need to know. So I hope you really uh, ponder over this, what I'm speaking now, so that you can fully digest and assimilate the implication of what I'm pointing. So, very good. Thank you.